What is up, everyone? Welcome to the Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Crafting and Modding in Starfield here in 2024. I'm currently down in the base of the lodge where you're going to find all of your crafting stations as well as the research station, the research lab. You're going to be spending a lot of time down here if you're going to be crafting. So I want to run you through all of the various bits and pieces of what you need to know to get up to speed to modding all of your weapons, your spacesuits, building outposts and crafting parts, going over here and cooking and making different types of foods and drinks, and of course the all-important pharmaceutical lab where you can make the various... Uh, salves and creams and things that are going to heal you from afflictions out in the wild, especially if you're playing on survival mode. So without further ado, let's dive in to today's crafting guide. If this is your first time tuning in, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Daily streams happen here and on Twitch. There's also a Patreon and a Discord if you want to get involved with our community and my work as a sci-fi and fantasy author. So, crafting. Everybody knows what crafting is. If you've played a previous Bethesda game, you're probably familiar with Bethesda's manner of crafting. This plays a lot like Fallout games in the sense of, of how the crafting works, but there are some, some differences. You have your different uh, stations, which do different things. You have one for weapons right here. You have one for spacesuits here. You have one for industrial stuff, which is mostly outpost building, but you can also build things that are subcomponents of crafting. Um, and of course, pharmaceutical lab and the cooking station. Now, all of these you can do some basic things at, but if you're going to get deep into crafting at any point in time, you're going to end up needing to use the research lab because this is how you learn the various uh, skills, essentially, that are used at the various workstations. And of course, here is your storage box. We're going to be keeping all of your bits and pieces that you find in your travels. Worth noting is that if you're going to do any crafting at any of these stations whatsoever, the items as of this recording must be in your inventory. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you come down here to come craft is you're going to go over here and you're going to transfer and you're going to go to the resources and you're just going to transfer. I just take them all. I just take all the resources. And then from there, you do occasionally yeah, want to pay attention to aid because the aid is where your food and drink comes. And if you're going to be doing any cooking, you're going to things you're going to find things like carrots and celery and wines and butter and milk and all those things are going to be under the aid. But we don't want to worry about that right now because that's for cooking, which we'll get to in a little bit. Um, the number one thing is your crafting resources, your materials, because those are used for everything from upgrading items to uh, using the research lab. So let's just go ahead and take a look at the weapon workbench first and foremost so you can get an idea of what this system looks like. You're going to be presented with this window here where you're going to see a list of the weapons in your inventory, the ones that are equipped. Um, um, well, we'll get to that here in a minute. Um, this is the, the big thing here um, is looking through the various weapons, picking one, and then going down and looking at all the available mod slots. So we have a top slot, we have a laser slot, an optic slot, a muzzle slot, magazine, battery slot, cover slot, internal slot, and a receiver slot before we get to the skin. So all of these are different components for the gun, and each one of these can be broken down into the types of mods that can be installed. So in this case, we have zero mods installed right now. We can either install a laser sight, or we can you uh, install a recon laser sight. Now, the laser sight requires, as you can see in the top right, it requires one neon, one aluminum, and one helium three. I don't have a neon at the moment. I haven't found one. I haven't found any of those resources, so I can't make that. The recon laser sight would require two adhesive, three vanadium, two palladium and two zero wire, but you're gonna also notice on the right-hand side it has a required research. It says optic and laser mods three required. Well, that means I'm gonna to have to go learn how to do that. So in order to do that, I need to have optic and laser mods three. Okay, that's something to keep in mind. Um, go to optic, it's the same thing. We can scroll down here, we can look at the things that I can install, some of which only require a basic um, type of component like the reflex site, which I already have installed, but then like a short scope would require optic and laser mods one, which I have, it says 100%, um, but I'm lacking adhesive, so I can't install that yet. The recon slope, um, the, excuse me, the medium scope requires optic and laser mods two. You'll notice mine is at 100% because I do have that learned, um, but I can't do a recon scope yet because I don't have the optic and laser mods 
rank 3 yet. So that would be something that would need to do. So as you go through here, you're going to look at all these mods. Some of them, like this one, if I didn't want any mods, uh, if I didn't want anything here, I could go to no mods. It would take one nickel, one iron, and I could do that. Um, and to put stealth lasers back on, I would need these components. So we could very quickly show you what that looks like here. Um, I can switch out to a, a no mod component like so. It's going to burn up those resources. We're going to click yes. And now if I want to go back, I'm going to go back to stealth lasers and it's going to use the resources shown up in the top right to install it back on. Okay, you get a little bit of XP for doing that and we've now modded our weapon accordingly. So all of these go down here and through. You can see some require nothing um, like small battery, but then if we got to do electromagnetic beams, we need magazines, battery mods too, so on and so forth. It is like that for every single one of the weapons at the weapon station. It's also the same if you come over here and use the spacesuit workbench. You're going to notice that my equipped items, um, these suits that I have, um, have various mod slots that we can use and they require different types of mod um, packs. So this require mods packs 2, pack mods 3. Um, and oxygen reserve uh, requires nothing. So if I wanted to install this one, I could. We could put it on. Uh, it would require one of those pressure tanks and one of those reactive gauges. Um, and we can go down through here and look at all these different mods. So how do I get this is the next most important question. How do I get pack mods? Like pack mods level one, pack mods level two, and everything else. That is all done at the research lab. So we're gonna come over here to the research lab, which Sarah is currently using. And we're gonna say, Sarah, can you kindly move to one side? All right, we are loading into the research lab here, the lab station. And you're gonna notice we have different types of things here. Uh, pharmacology, food and drink, outpost development, equipment, and weaponry. Each one of these relates to one of the crafting stations we just saw. Pharmacology is related to the, related to the pharmacy, um, the pharmaceutical crafting station. Food and drink is the cooking station. Outpost development is the industrial workbench. Um, and equipment is uh, different types of, of things you can use related to your packs. And then there's weaponry, which is all of your weapons. And if you go into one of these, like let's go into weaponry for an example. You're going to see barrel mods 1, barrel mods 2, grip and stock mods 1, 2, and 3. If something is listed at 100%, it'll say completed because we've actually done that. Um, so in order to get to rank 2, as an example, you would need to complete rank 1. So here's a good example. Muzzle mods 3. Um, says blocked. It says I can't do anything with it. Why? Because it says, well, I need special projects. Well, that's interesting because I can go to optics and laser mods three and it doesn't have that restriction. It just says I need required skills. The top middle of the screen says weapon engineering two. And I could go in here and it tells me the ingredients that I need, how many of them I have in my inventory, and if I want to apply any of those towards the recipe. Um, and you'll see that this one, as an example, this one says 0%, but then grips and stock mods had 30%. And that's because I already dumped a little bit of uh, titanium in here earlier as I was working my way through um, stockpiling things. Um, but what does it mean when something is blocked? Well, that means that you have to have a, a, a required skill before you can do this. And in this case, you notice that Muzzle Mods 3 required Weapon Engineering Rank 3, and it also requires Special Projects Rank 1. And there's different... Um, Different things have different requirements. Like as an example, um, we're currently working on like helmet mods and stuff. And so and even to even to get to pack mods rank one, which I do have now, I had to first get spacesuit design rank one before I could even unlock that. And that's where you get into the skill window and realizing that crafting is way more than just learning about things here at the crafting station. It's also about leveling up your character and choosing where to put your skill points as you level up. So here's spacesuit design, right? So remember I had to have rank one spacesuit design to even unlock some of those mods. Um, and also some of them said I had to have rank two, rank three, rank four weapon engineering before I could unlock the mods associated with that tier of engineering. And the one we just looked at said it needed um, special projects which is all the way down here in the skill tree. What does that mean? Well, it means you have to level up your character and you have to choose to put points into the science trees to unlock the relevant spacesuit design, weapon engineering, outpost engineering, special projects, things like planetary habitation, 
hypergonadic fusion, all of these things factor in to some degree uh, to the crafting system um, if you're working. So in this case, it told me I needed special projects. What do I need to get to special projects? Special projects, it says I need to spend two more points in, in the science tree overall to unlock that fourth rank of master science skills. So we essentially have four ranks of skills. You have your first rank here, you have your second rank here, you have your third rank here, and you have your fourth rank here. And each one of these tiers requires you to spend some points to get there. Um, you, in order to get to spacesuit design, I had to first spend a bunch of points in the tier one. I think it was four or five. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, in the science uh, rank one to unlock rank two. Once I got to rank two, I could start putting points into what I did first was I, I maxed out weapon engineering. And I went all the way um, to rank four. And then I'm currently working on spacesuit design. Um, I'm at rank two right now. And if I want to get to rank three, it says I need to craft 15 spacesuit helmet or pack mods, right? So in order to even get to the point where I can rank up to level three, I have to first complete the prerequisite challenge. In this case, craft 15 mods for my spacesuits, right? Once I've done that, it then unlocks the ability to take it to level three. But I cannot take it to level three unless I have a relevant skill point available represented in the bottom left, which I don't currently have any of. So I would need to get more of those um, by leveling up. And if I wanted to unlock special projects, I need to spend a couple of more points somewhere in the science tree. And in this case, since I've already unlocked the previous three tiers, I could put them anywhere I want. But in this case, since I'm going to be going uh, uh, spacesuit design all the way down to unlock it to the master level, I would obviously take rank three next um, and then rank four and so on and so forth. Also, outpost engineering is going to be very important to me and also the uh, planetary habitation at some point. But as you can see, in order to get to special projects, which is the next rank of things that I would need to do to unlock that in the laboratory, um, in the lab research section, I need to first level up some more and choose to put points into the science tree so that I can unlock special projects in the master science skill. So there is leveling required if you want to be able to come in here and unlock all of the different things available at the research lab for the various aspects of your journey. So if you want to do equipment, that's great, um, but understand you're going to need different things. In this case, you would need space for spacesuit design, rank two, which we have. Um, but if I wanted to go to weaponry and I wanted to build the one that was blocked that you saw, I would first need to get to special projects, which means I, I got to actually go out there and do some adventuring to be able to rank that up. Um, now, remember how it said I needed to craft 15 mods over in here to get to the next, uh, to unlock rank three? So I need to get through rank two before, even if I had a point available, I could not spend that point on spacesuit design unless I first complete the challenge for rank two. And the challenge for rank two is to craft 15 spacesuit helmet pack mods. Now this is where things get a little bit tricky because what you're gonna, gonna, you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna come over here to the spacesuit workbench. The easiest way to do this is to come in here and find something that doesn't cost a lot to install and then um, look at the two things. Like oxygen reserve, um, it takes one of each but I only have three of those mag pressure tanks so that's you know, if I wanted to use that as a leveling tool, I would need a lot more of those. Because remember, we need 15. Um, something like this, I'm using... Um, I can't do anything like that because it's pack mods 2. Uh, so we wouldn't be able to do that. This one, also pack mods 2. Uh, medic and sealant. So you look at these two, I actually have enough to do these. I remember, I need 15 points. So what I would do here is I would go between these two medic and no mod and I would install one install the other install one install the other install one install the other to level up let's take a look at what that looks like so this one's already installed and we need 15 points so here's one here's two quick commercial break everyone to celebrate and give thanks to all of these amazing people who keep me on the air full time really appreciate the support all you got to do is join as a member you get access to private videos you can also do super thanks on any upload or super chats and stickers on any live stream or premiere you see and beyond that don't forget we're multi streaming over on twitch now so you can support over there as well thanks so much to everybody let's get back to the video at hand here's three
Now, you notice how it just pinged up on the top left? It says you've done it four times. So we're going to keep doing that until we've leveled all the way through. And remember, you need to make sure that you have enough of the resources in your inventory when you're doing this. Because it has to be in your inventory. It can't be in that box. We're now at 8 of 15. This is 9. It's 10. And you are getting XP along the way. Theoretically, you could ding from this, but the XP is not that great. <laughs> All right, we're at 12. We need three more. So one, two, and we'll go one more. We'll do medic. Okay, we have now unlocked uh, or completed the challenge, I should say, as we noticed there. Um, if we come up here into skills. You'll now notice that in spaceship design, uh, we now have 15 of 15 completed in the challenge for rank 2, which means as soon as I get an available skill point, rank 3 is now available. And I can then put my point into rank 3. Um, now remember, I need to spend two more points to unlock special projects. I would need to then spend a third point to unlock special projects. So I need to go out there and get three more levels if I want to get to that next rank um, of mod at the research station, the research lab, which is over here. And we're just looking at one component, which is the weapons, um, which is this one right here. But you'll notice that different things uh, apply here. So we're looking at the broader scope of all the different things that are required. So that's special projects. But it's the same thing, whether it's food or drink. Um, I need rank one gastronomy. Well, I would need to go find in the skill tree, where is rank, rank one gastronomy? What is the challenge required for me to get there or points that I need to spend over here um, I need chemistry rank one so I would need to go in here and say well okay I need chemistry for that one where's chemistry there's geology surveying zoology scanning botany astrophysics chemistry there's chemistry so there's the one I need there but the other one was something else gastronomy might that be in social perhaps yep gastronomy you can craft specialty food and drinks and research additional recipes at the research lab. So this would allow me to make more things at the cook at the cooking station. Um, and you can learn more exotic recipes as you go along in that uh, line. So the crafting and modding game in Starfield is extremely complex. Because in addition to the various crafting stations and all the different levels of mods required, you also need to research at the research lab to unlock the various mods. And all of those have prerequisites, some of which are other perks in these skill trees. And other ones are just skills themselves that you'll need to level up and get to a minimum level. So hopefully you have found that useful. Remember, when you're done crafting and you're done moving between these stations to come back to your box here, Click transfer, go over to your inventory, go down to your resources tab, and then use the store all resources button. Because right now you'll notice I'm 2,400, uh, 2,444 pounds of mass. We'll put that over here. Now we're down to 208, so we're good. And remember, um, for like 90% of crafting, it's all going to be the crafting resources. But the food and drink category, which is over here at the cooking station, requires you to also have things like oranges and bread and eggs and distilled water and aromatics and and membranes and things of that nature which fall into the aid category not the crafting resources category so keep that in mind um, and from here all you want to do is every time you come back to the lodge from your ship remember to stash everything in this box that you're going to be using for crafting and then when you decide to actively craft it needs to be in your inventory so pick it all up move between your crafting stations go forth and have fun if you found this video useful don't forget to like subscribe to the bell icon so you never miss an update daily streams happen here and on twitch there's a discord and a patreon if you want to get involved with my work as a sci-fi and fantasy author you can get a copy of my latest book down below see you next time everybody Stay safe. Happy gaming.